and 23820 and zootropic kepler mars tensor column point care trajectories while well steady there's the alien radio signal um this uh video is going to talk about anisotropic kepler problem two dimensions martian martin gutweiser ibm thomas j watts waston uh, research center trajectories particle anisotropic mass tensor column potential negative energies bound states isomorphic geodisks Riemann surface Euclidean space snail vanishing energy collision equations motion autonomous system computations binary sequence position coordinate heavy axis real numbers continuous map point care map shift binary Bernoulli scheme periodic orbits isomorphism bake transformation connect endpoints keyword research line 23 well set up data again this data is from july the 8th 2012 almost two years ago quote pdf file on a blog journal of mathematical physics volume 14 from 1973 the anisotropic kepler problem in two dimensions uh, from yorktown heights new york um, april 1972 the classical trajectories are investigated for a particle within an anisotropic mass tensor. In ordinary column potential for negative energies bound states, these trajectories are isomorphic with the geodisks on a Riemann surface, which can be immersed in a Euclidean space and which looks like a double snail. For vanishing energy or near collision, oh, I to divide it up. The equations of motion can be reduced to <coughs> an autonomous system whose trajectories can be fully discussed on the basis of extensive numerical computations it has been possible to give a simple yet complete description of all trajectories with negative energy a binary sequence is associated with any trajectory where each term gives a sign of the position coordinate for the consecutive intersections with the heavy axis if the binary sequence is represented by two real numbers a one-to-one -one and continuous map from them to the initial conditions can be constructed Thus, the point care map for the trajectories is equivalent with the shift of the binary Bernoulli scheme tossing a coin and all the periodic orbits can be attained systematically. A number of these are discussed to illustrate the consequences of the iso isomorphism with the binary sequences. Finally, the Baker transformation and its use for finding the trajectories which connect any two given endpoints is mentioned. And that's from 1970, the American Institute of Physics at jmp.aip.org and the data continues in the next video thank you for watching